All right, I got my retainers in for the big block heads. But now I got this LS motor hanging on the hoist. Um, I need to do a few things to that before I get ready to pull in the vehicle I'm going to swap that into. But I think I'm going to work on a big block too. I'm going to try to keep that a separate video, so don't, don't pay attention to that. Just ignore that that's here. Right now, I'm going to work on the big block. But first, I got to open the door. It got a little chilly last night. And it's like 50 degrees in here. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I went to buy some more of these gloves. You know, I have some in there. Hmm, I didn't know it did that. I have some in there, but I almost never wear them. But I see some of the cool kids on YouTube wear them all the time. Looks like maybe y'all might get your fenders a little oily and greasy because there ain't none to be had at the store. And another thing, y'all got a 64 GTO or something like that and need some gloves? I got some to trade. So right after I uh, said I was going to go to work on that 454, I didn't touch it. And I put the flex plate back on that LS motor over there. And pulled the exhaust manifolds off and identified the three broken bolts in the heads. But I'm not working on that. Don't pay attention to that. I'm working on something else. I did tidy up here. You know, I'm kind of a clean freak. So now, <clears throat> I cleaned off my workbench. And, uh, well, you know. And I'm going to put that head together. Provided these are the right retainers. If they ain't, <clears throat> I'll do something else. And uh, I got plenty to do. Mm -hmm. All right, I did my measuring <clears throat> with the correct retainers. And the stock shims and rotators are going to work just fine. So I'm going to put her together and try not to forget the valve seals. All right. That's much more better. New valve springs installed. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw the head on before I work on that other one. You know, sometimes I need a diversion. I need to get one of them things. Bell spring compressors like what I seen Freiburger using the other day. This one works good, but they, they're bad to twist off the spring and send your retainer flying. Alright, let me show you something. I'm doing. I'm chasing the holes in the block with a 7/16 bolt, and I just took my ziz wheel, Miss Heavy Chevy pipe down, and cut a couple grooves in it. I don't want to run a tap in the in the block because it tends to cut a little bit, and the bolt just clean up threads where uh, the head bolts won't have such a hard time torquing correctly. At least that's my theory. Now. I'm sure some expert in the comments will tell you tell us whether this is right or wrong. But that's my theory. Also, I'm using Mr. He Miss, not Mr. Heavy, Mr. Gasket Company um, tin head gaskets, which are 20 thousandths thick compressed, which is supposed to get me like two tenths of a point of compression, which will probably give me like 0 0.347 horsepower extra if my calculations are correct. So, <clears throat> it says don't put anything on them, but I'm going to give her a little fog a spray copper gasket because I'm just funny like that. She's out there constantly talking to herself. I don't know if she's going crazy or she needs expert advice. What? I'm saying I'll see what else I got to work with. I'm a rock god. <clears throat> Alright, I've been hustling right along. And uh, I got the head torqued down. You know, I use this torque wrench. I need to get these calibrated. It's a Mac. And torqued it at 80. It's 3H drive. And I said, you know, let me 
just be double extra cautious and get out the other one which is also a Mac see it under there I set it at 80 and got a little bit more on most of them so probably part of that is the increased leverage of the half inch drive one makes it a little easier and the second part of it is well, they aren't calibrated exactly the same but you all don't care about that uh, the heads on this side now I'm gonna go lap the valves in the other head because I'm tired of torquing head bolts see how I did that all right I've been hustling right along and disassembled these heads threw all the valves in that little coffee can I mean not valves valve springs which well, I'm not gonna use no more now I just need to go through here and clean up all the valves these seem to be in the similar condition to the other head which is good So I'm just going to clean them up, lap them, all the seats look good, they were dirty. Probably leak a little when I first cranked it up, but you know, it probably would have been alright. But anyways, let me get after it here. Time's a wasting, you know, sometimes you have work and not talk. Alright, I got all the valves lapped. Now I just need to check <clears throat> the installed height on the valve springs here. Make sure it's the same as the other head and clean it up a little bit and start putting it back together. Let's go see if Mrs. Heavy Chevy's doing anything good. That Hello. dog that dog ain't helping a bit, is he? Nope, not at all. Lazy mutt. I tried to tell her to put that stuff all the way in the corner, but she wouldn't listen, so I guess she'll do it if she wants to. It is. Right, dog? It is fine. It is fine. Why is it not like... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know nothing about building buildings. You know, I gave this mud a bath last night. Uh-huh. He needs one on the daily. All right, this head is the same. Almost identical measurements on installed height, so it's within range, within tolerance, without adding additional shims. So I'm going to finish putting her together and then put it on and then keep getting it. All right, at long last, I've got this head assembled, both heads assembled. Just goes to show you, you get let the might as well as get you. It'll never end. I was just going to put a cam and lifters and a timing chain in that engine and throw it in the truck. But, you know, I might as well pull the head. You know, you know how it goes. Might as well. All right, let me keep crack a whacking. All right, I got everything cleaned up. Uh, brake cleaned. Some of it's still drying right there. Look at them cylinder walls, huh? No ridge. Nothing. I think this motor's gonna run good. I mean, engine. Doggone it, I keep screwing that up. Then I'm gonna put that head gasket on it. Put this head on. Then we'll keep, then I'll probably put the intake on. And you know, I might put something else on. Now, I'm not one to complain. Well, maybe I am if something bugs me. Both of these gaskets I had to file a little bit right there and right there so I could fit the gasket over the dowel. I found that to be somewhat annoying. Looks like, you know, your stuff would fit. All right, the next logical thing to do is put push rods in it and adjust the valves. You know, Mrs. Heavy Chevy isn't distracting me very much at all today. Has that worthless dog got up doing anything yet? Nope. Sleeping. Alright, I got the valves adjusted and my preferred method is I'm finding these old motors manuals. <clears throat> Put on number one top dead center, adjust all the exhaust, one, three, four, eight, 
and intake 1257 then turn it 180 so the number six cylinder is in the firing position and adjust exhaust 2567 intake 3468 usually you just tighten it until you can't turn the push rod but I must have used some good lube because I could keep turning the push rod so I had to watch when the plunger started going down in the lifter but I think that'll do the same thing all right I guess now I can put the intake on it right I sure hope she cleans up her mess out there all right if you're wondering why they call them peanut ports it's because they're little bitty like peanuts but I think it'll be alright for a motor that's going to be towing. So, uh, so I'm going to use them. I'm going to put an intake manifold on it. I have put some silicone on there and let it skin up. Let me get my intake manifold. Harley. What are you doing, bud? He's all ears. Yeah. Senor Arejas. Arejas? Anyways, we might have to revisit this here. This isn't too good. But I got the intake manifold on it. Now you're probably wondering, why is he putting aluminum intake with peanut port heads? Hey, man. That's just how I roll. All right, now I need to clean up the valve covers. And I'm going to put them on. Then I think I'm going to call it a day. I'm getting kind of tired long about five o'clock I used to go till seven or eight before I quit but the year the years are adding up can't do that and um you know how it is Not really how you should do that, but I guess it turned out okay. You should have your piece hanging off the end that you're cutting off. So it's stable and safe and secure. She ain't heard nothing I said. Alright, I got the intake manifold on. We're going to have to use this ad adapter so I can still run a quadra jet. I'm also going to use that air cleaner since I get the dirt daubers off it and I'm gonna run cold air I'm gonna take elderly irons advice I'm gonna try to make this thing pull real good come on but right now my back's a little achy and I'm tired and this pollen in the air has kind of got my eyes a little scratchy cuz I'm a little bit allergic I'm weak like that Hey, will you come ring the bell? Oh, sure. She's going to ring the bell. All right, you say the stuff you're supposed to say. Go to MrHeavyChevy.com, get your support your, support your local hack t-shirts, your Mr. Heavy Chevy logos, and who the heck is Mr. Heavy Chevy, as well as hoodies and bumper stickers and some metal art. And those, I think, are coming. So that one's a little messed up. Uh, with all the crises we're having these days, the hats are a little slow getting here. Yes. We may find us another supplier. If that helps. I don't know. You know, everything's going... Two weeks, uh, they said. Going in a hand more. basket. But <clears throat> we're keeping on, keeping on. That's what we're going to do. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notifications button. Um, <clears throat> lots of people are saying they're not getting, they don't know I'm posting videos. One guy said, I thought it, you thought you hadn't posted a video in a year. It's like two a weekend. If you hadn't watched in a year, a little quick math, 365 times two, that's at least 380 videos up. Wait, that's not right, is it? No. All right, you do your own math. Don't let me do it. And come follow Mrs. Heavy Chevy. Yeah, she's doing some stuff out there in the shed. sometimes.